Wait till y'all hear this one. I mean, you can't even make this stuff up at this point. All right. I get this offer right. Now, most of my Lowe's offers, they're either like really far away and really bad pay or just like, you know, really bad pay at all. But every now and then I'll get a decent one. It'll be like, you know, maybe four or five things or six things and like three of this, three and that. So I do a grocery order from Meyer and I'm over in that area. I get a Lowe's order. Eight items, twelve seventy five. I know that like why did you take that? I know but eight items, twelve seventy five going three miles, right? So I'm thinking, you know what? It's probably like eight light bulbs or eight freaking screws or eight little tubes or something. I'm like, I'll do it. And if that would have been any other store in the world, Myers, Aldi, anywhere, I would have looked at the items thinking like, oh, it might be cases of water. I better, you know, I better look to make sure. But it being Lowe's, and even though they sell houses and bathtubs and commodes, it don't even cross my mind. Like, you might want to look at those items. But anyway, I'm right in front of there. I pull into the damn store. I pull in there. I, I look at the items. It says eight things of salt. Well, that's all I really seen. I'm thinking eight things of salt. What the hell? So I go on in the store. I hit a rob. I got the cart. I hit a rob. That's when I see it. It's eight 40 pound bags of some kind of water softener, right? Again, I think it's 1275, maybe even 1225. What does it say 1275 to give them the benefit of the doubt? So I see that and it just had a principle. I'm like, yeah, I ain't doing that shit. So I'm already there, so I'm wanting to see what this shit looks like. So I go back there, I look at it. These bags look like they got more salt on the outside than the inside. I mean, that shit's everywhere. Just when I touched one to feel it, my hand was like, you know, white. Looked like it had been like flour, you know what I mean? So imagine that, you know, it's gonna cost you 20 or 30 bucks to clean the car. So it just amazes me that they would even, you know, they don't even care, you know. Used to, I thought they wouldn't even send shit like that. That's 320 pounds. See, what people don't realize, if a gig worker bitches about shit like that, people's like, I'll get a real job and all that other bullshit, right? But, think about that. It's driving your own car there. Imagine asking a W-2 person to drive your own car there, load 320 pounds into a cart, go up to the self-checkout, because that's what you've got to use, right? Go up to the self-checkout, go through there, but then you got to wait for a guy to come over, or a woman, or whatever, and an employee, and you got to sign this little tax exemption thing. So you got to wait on that. Then you gotta, you know, take it out in your car, load it in there, 320 pounds. Then I also looked at like, the instructions. I got a picture of that. The ins I got a picture of all this shit. The instructions literally say, leave it up by the garage. Up by, you know, up means elevated. That means a hill. So it's carrying 320 pounds up a damn hill. Well, he can put his lips up to my ass and kiss him. I ain't doing it. But on my way out, there's this older man sitting there, and he's trying to wave at people, and they're looking away. I mean, he, he looked like he was in, you know, mid 80s or something. So. You know, Cincinnati's not the friendliest place, but I seen him and I was like, well, shit, I'll, I'll wait at him, you know? I did it. Dude starts telling me his life story. He's telling me about the deck he built. He's telling me his wood's gone, you know, it's guaranteed 40 years or some shit like that. And it's like, dude, you could have saved money. You could have got like two year wood. It's, you know, you could have saved 38 years of money. But, you know, you know, you never know though. He could be a vampire. I don't know. But the point, he starts telling me about everything. So, it, you know, it's one of them things like, he had his cart too, and he had like one little piece of molding, one little strip of molding, just a little, and, and he's pushing that shit around in the cart. Pretty big old boy too. But anyway, so every time he would stop talking, I would start pushing the cart up, right? And I'd be like, yeah. so once he stopped, I'd be like, oh yeah, that's crazy. Well, you have a good, and he would just keep going. It's like he could tell, he knew, and he would angle his cart a little bit, right? So finally, I'm like, you know, a good 10 minutes, at least a good 10 minutes. So I'm like, you know what? If I got to listen to his shit, he's going to listen to mine. So I'm like, hey, man, you ain't going to believe this. I'm in here for a door dash. And, it's, and he's, I swear to God, the guy's like, oh, have a good one. Go. Believe that shit? I'm telling you. I mean, life and times of a gig worker is crazy. So I guess a little life hack. If someone's talking to you and you want to get away, just say something about your shit and they'll leave. It's probably God ordered this shit. It's probably him. Bastard. Hope your deck falls off your house. I said deck. I didn't say the other one, you nasty bastards. But, just think about that though, any other job in the world, they would, people would be like going nuts, like how could you ask a person to use their own vehicle and like get it all tore up for $12.75, but if it's a gig worker, oh hell no, you know, get a real job, you know, if you don't like it, do something else, that's what we do, we, we do do something else, we decline your dumbass orders and we take another better, dude, I, I, I dropped that one. 
I get a 12 offer uh, for Meyer, 12 items for 21 something. And it was like the heavy, it was eight packs of, or a, one eight pack of Gatorade. And that was heavy. Everything else was like, you know, uh, little shit. So I could either carry maybe a total of eight or 10 pounds. I don't know what fucking Gatorade weighs. You know, the small ones too, one of the big ones. But I could carry that and drive it a few miles. It was six miles. So I could drive me, you know, three, three extra miles and carry what 308 less pounds and make nine dollars and something more yeah it's crazy so next time you order a goddamn uh water softener man the fuck up and drink hard water i mean water can't be that damn hard i hope that water's so hard next time you take a shower it knocks your ass out don't be doing that shit to dashers it's not cool y'all have a good one